yeah, I think that's what we got. This will be a super interesting set. Yeah, so, Mr. Gal, I think this is the first time that they're going to be on stream for today. Uh, right? I don't Possibly. think we've actually seen them hop, um, yeah, pop up so, on right? the stream. Mm -hmm. um, so, we so got the Pikachu action, right? Yeah, uh, Pikachu, Nas. So, Pikachu doesn't lose a lot of matchups. On paper, there's like three. It's like Game & Watch, it's maybe Mario, and it's Nas. Last time I saw these two play, man, PK Chris did not do so well. Uh, kind of got blended just a little tiny bit. So but weren't you just saying this does all right? On paper, yeah, but in practicality, Mr. L seems to be really, really comfortable in this matchup. Hmm, all right, well, then it uh, looks like Chris is going to have to play this one textbook because uh, if uh, if it's a winning matchup that he's not able to clutch out, then either he's getting severely outplayed or, you know, he's he's uh, oh not, not doing something right. But look, look at this advantage damage. state. Oh so goodness. consistent. And the positioning still be able to cover the tech roll out. That is 59% from winning neutral ones and getting the right lead and advantage. Yo, let's talk about this stage choice for game one. Here we are on town for game one. Bold choice. I don't know. Like, do you think this benefits... Um, like, do you think this is equally beneficial for both characters? I feel like this is way better for Pikachu. Well, Mr. L is just not letting PK Chris get back onto the stage. He has just so much sustain out there. He doesn't feel threatened. He knows how to maneuver around all of Nessa's hitboxes. Oh, missing that shield grab. That was a pretty rough up smash, but didn't get punished for it. And, uh, yeah, it looks like, looks like uh, PK Chris just kind of gave up that... Uh, that positioning there and treated to center stage, and now Mr. L is going to take that opportunity and run with it. Look at this option coverage for Mr. L. The way that he just keeps on continuously. <gasps> oh my god, I rolled in every time. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm glad Chris did it. I'm actually really me glad too, that he did it. Me too, me yeah. too. Oh, look at this. He's about to lap him in percent. This is not good. Yeah, I know. The game has a goodie somehow managed to a goodie snowball so quickly. What? Uh, ah, I'm <laughs> so glad that? that you asked. If it's a grounded magnet, if it's a, uh, what, if it's a PSI magnet used on the ground, you can actually cancel it into a jump or a roll. So immediately all that end lag can dissipate. Not from the air, but only from the ground. So What's it like to have a character that doesn't have end lag on their moves? Hey, listen, it's, a, it's only in a really specific circumstance, but really good stuff to PK Chris, <laughs> able to find that stock with a well-timed neutral air, crossing mm. up Mr. L. It's not that easy to land, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> no, you're right. You're, you're not wrong. That drag down into the down smash. That can SDI uh, that up, kind of. I mean, you can, but it's such a be so consistent at getting that confirm. It's it's tough, you know. Yeah, it's it's just like a nasty position to be in. So even I, if you di it and you like end up off stage somehow, like now you're still not in a good position. So well, I gotta say, Mr. Gell just has been controlling the pace of this whole match. Um, I feel like his advantage states are just that much more consistent than PK Chris's. Um, but PK Chris is really slowly starting to make this comeback, calling out a lot of jumps and uh, over commitments. One big back air could even out this game, and it looks like he's in a position to get it, but just as I say that, uh, kind of giving up center stage once again to Mr. L, who's going to try to take this opportunity, and yeah, here comes the damage. Oh, Dragons. I really like that idea to go for the tech chase, but Ness... Uh, not going to be put into, uh, you know, attack chase quite yet. I really like that option from PK Chris, but he was just that close uh, to being able to connect what and he needed to. And he dies off the side to an mm. down downer. I don't know why Ultimate has so many downers that do that. Yeah. There's, like, way too many. <laughs> and a lot of them, it's, like, the sweet spot hitbox. The, the, like, what? what? Huh? Who? Who put this here? I really like the way that PK Chris is just crossing up Mr. L's shield so safely. However, if PK Chris is within Mr. L's immediate vicinity, uh, in the air especially, honestly, something like a jump up or jump neutral uh, would be able to catch a lot of Chris's <sighs> options. Scoop them up from under the platform, but it wasn't enough. Even with the added height of the platform, that's what Town and City does for you. And yeah. you know what? I'm starting to think that I like this stage choice for, from Chris's perspective. Those vertical kills from Pikachu are going to happen, so. Or maybe Who gets not, a drag down up here. Who tries to go from the back here? Is not going to be able to find it. That is now PK Chris with no double jump, but keeps himself safe for the back here. Wow. Dash attack off the top, man. That's a strong dash attack. That's one of the few ways that Pikachu get, gets kills on stage. It's either tech chase with an F smash, maybe a raw up smash out of shield, and mm -hmm. just going to be a lot of dash backs and dash attacks. So Mr. Gal waited for his opportunity, 
PK Kuss didn't land too safely, and, and he was able to get that kill. Mm -hmm. Kind of outplayed him for a lot of that game. Yeah, uh, and he hadn't really used the dash stack up until that point, so it was a nice surprise. Honestly, it kind of caught me off guard, and I forgot it killed, so I wouldn't have DI'd it right at all. Yeah. And I wonder if Chris is uh, in the same boat as me, because that was a sneaky uh, sneaky time to use it. Oh, yeah, for sure. That was, um, it was it was unexpected, so I like that Mr. Guy like, really established, like, hey, I'm not really going to be going through this until like that last stock. Kept it as fresh as possible. You always got to keep one secret in the bag till the end. Yep. So game number two going to be going uh, to Chris's county pick. Pokemon Stadium 2, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's the place he likes to be. Really loves maneuvering around the platforms, uh, especially with a lot of double jump cancel PK fires on the stage. I do think this is a good stage, but I wonder, would you prefer small battlefield to this? I think as the Ness, who has less speed compared to Pikachu, you want less space because that horizontal ground space, Pikachu is going to be the one, you know, uh, moving in and out of your space and taking advantage of that extra horizontal space. So I yeah. don't know if... I think small might have been a better choice here. Honestly, having a big stage against Pikachu is kind of okay. Really, the issue with a big stage against Pikachu is normally for a lot of characters, he's able to teach old camp. That is not an issue uh, for yeah. Ness. Yeah. He's able to get a, he's able to get a lot off of uh, Grounded Magnet or trying to stuff out TG Ultra for neutrally. So really, either or is it, are okay. And it looks like so far all Chris has been able to connect is a couple of loose hits, but he hasn't gotten the, the follow-ups he wanted before it looks yep. like he missed the uh, missed his forward air to grab confirm or Wow. Mr. L is just waiting in the best spots possible. He's he's getting a hit and then he's just waiting for Chris's next option before trying to call out his movement. He is just like so so like I don't know, I just feel like a lot of his pressure feels so tight. Wow, and that up smash was an anti-air option there in that specific exchange. What a weird uh, choice of smash attack, but it worked and uh, kind of clocked PK Chris on the noggin. Well, Mr. L is just being so patient right now, but Chris always positioning himself in such a way that he can uh, end up absorbing the T-Jolt. I feel like Mr. L, not even like once has he been able to get away with going for the uh, T-Jolt to neutral. Mm. And it looks like Mr. L's really fishing to read a jump with these forward airs in neutral. And uh, he hasn't gotten one in a while. And I wonder if that's because Chris caught on to his game. But uh, might not need to catch on to anything right now. Oh, that trade. That trade was unfortunate for mm, Chris. Yeah. Especially like with the way that drag downs work. The angle of the multi-hits is dependent on your own drift. Uh, because of the way that auto link angles are programmed in Ultimate. So in that, even if like that did trade for like Mr. L, because of the fact that he was already moving down, Chris would already be put in like a much worse position. Mm. I actually didn't know about those uh, the, 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 the drag down angles changing based on your own drift. That's mm. interesting. Hmm. I'm going to have to rethink how I use my Ridley forward there. Yeah, no, because like you can take somebody rising and they go up with you. You can take them down and they go down with you. So it's really dependent oh, on your own drift. But got to say, PK Chris is just playing so patiently around the platforms right about now. Mr. L has just not been able to get in. And again, PK Chris is always at that distance where he can absorb t jolt and then back off and reset the situation. Yeah, and he's also doing a good job of keeping Mr. L uh, as the one in shield. He says it's always going to be always going to be my turn. Uh, you're going to be the one on the defense. and. Uh -huh. uh, any time that Chris can achieve that. Was that was so good. That Whoa. was so good. That was beautiful. Cut a little short thanks to that T-Jolt. Wow. Man, it's it's tough. Look at that soft stage against Pika, I have to say. He's able to go so deep. He's able to mm. track you with his really active hitboxes, drag you down, throw a projectile at you. Man, he does not have a good time. Parrying <laughs> that just to say, yeah, I'm going to get the punish, and does. Uh... Man, Chris looks like he's really fishing for some kind of back throw here or something just to end out this stock. Cause oh, but he's playing safe. He's throwing out safe rising nares and just only running away with them. He's hoping that eh, if one of them connects, I'll get the kill. But uh, if it doesn't, I can't really afford to do anything unsafe right now. Ooh, at this point, Mr. L has no choice but to... Oh, no, holding on to the double so jump. Tries sneaky. to de delay as long as possible. I love the idea. Um, I think, honestly, the best option there, if Mr. Galsala has a double jump, he could just try to go for a down B uh, to be able to get a sneaky hit on Ness. Mm. Yeah, that was a really clever use of recovery, but Chris was able to just recover it all with the old down smash, the yo-yo yep. hanging off the ledge. 
Very smart. Yeah, if you can force an opponent to, look, uh, to recover low enough, um, you'll be able to land those every single day of the week. Right now, PK Chris just doing got a lot of preemptive hitboxes. Presumably, he's just trying to call out uh, an approach for Mr. L. Yeah, I oh. mean, it's oh, that's going to do it, right? Oh, he had his double jump. Okay, okay. <gasps> oh, no. And just like that, Mr. L over committing immediately rolls back onto the stage. As soon as you're in that position against Nas, things can go sour. That could so have been quickly. scary, yeah. I mean, if that yo-yo came out maybe a couple frames earlier, then uh, Mr. L would have been in trouble. I like these preemptive back airs trying to read these uh, these quick attack approaches. And Mr. L just catching a lot of these landings right now. PK Chris trying to use double jump, cancel magnet to stall and mix up his momentum uh, and doing a really good job of it. Oh, boy. Oh, Ooh. that's a nasty pos position. I like that shield pressure with the fire into the up tilt, kind of knowing that, yeah, you're going to have to jump out of shield eventually, and if you don't, then I'm just going to go ahead and poke your shield. Oh, he tries to read the jump with that big back air, but it was uh, a little too many steps ahead. Mr. Well dashing back and forth, trying to scout out a landing right now from PK Chris. He doesn't want to overcommit. He's going through a lot of retreating aerials, but giving up stage <laughs> like that, what Once again, finding that dash attack. He keeps it for the very end and uh, works every time.